Hey guys, it's Emily and today I'm going to be showing you two different looks on each eye for the 4th of July. That rhymed bars. <laughs> so um, anyway, so if you're interested in how I did the looks that you're going to see in just a second, keep watching. Okay, so excuse the fan in the background, it's like a hundred million degrees. Um, but you already know I got my take because this look is going to be an eyeliner look with a lot of eyeshadow. You already know. So the first look I'm going to do is going to be eyeshadow based and then the other look is going to be glitter based. So I'm going to do the eyeshadow base first and then the second eye will be glitter so that way if you don't have any glitter or you don't like glitter then you can just like stop watching at that point. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette and the BH Cosmetics 6 Edition Palette. And from the Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to be using the Red Orchard. I don't know if I said that right. And then from the BH Cosmetics, I'm going to be using these three shades. And to prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I just do three dots you already know and then you know just blend that in my lid then I'm just gonna use some translucent powder and kind of pack that on my lid so that way everything stays So now I'm going to be using the darkest blue from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be using this blending brush that I always use and that's going to kind of be my transition shade I guess and I'm just going to start that in the corner of the other side of my eyelid because it's not the inner corner, you know what I mean. And yeah, I'm just packing that on and kind of blending it up towards the crease of my eye. I don't know why I made that sound like a question, <laughs> but yeah, and I'm just going to kind of keep doing that, and now I'm going to get the two other blues that I was pointing out earlier, and I'm going to kind of mix those together and put that where I stopped with the darkest blue, and that's I'm going to take that kind of up and towards the middle of my eye. And then I'm just going to get the darkest blue again and kind of pack that deeper into the corner so that way it, you kind of see the transition of the blues. So now I'm going to get my smaller blending brush and use the Red Orchard and from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to start packing that into the inner corner of my eye. And then I kind of decided that this red was not working, so you already know I had to go in with that Venetian red because that's just my go-to, honestly. It is the best red, in my opinion. And look at that, already such a difference. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. So anyway, <laughs> so I kind of like the whole red to blue thing because it starts to turn purple where they touch and I thought that was so sick so yeah I really like that and now I'm gonna get my big blending brush again and just kind of blend everything together just a little bit and now I'm going to use my white NYX velvet liner and kind of oh I messed up oh wow that's annoying anyway and I'm going to just do a simple wing and yeah that part doesn't really need much explaining just uh, do a wing and uh, if you mess up that's why there's tape because I'm really good at messing up <laughs>
Oh, so yeah, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna be using the NYX. Oh, I forgot to take off my tape, oops. Now I'm gonna use the NYX kind of, it kind of looks like a colored pencil, but I'm just gonna go in my waterline with it and um, yup, make it look bright, whatever. You know what them Instagram girls be doing. So yeah, I thought that looked really cute and I was like, dang, look at me go, yup. And now I'm just gonna put on some lashes and I'm really bad at putting on my lashes. So this is me attempting and failing, but you know, it's all good. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. It's fine. So yup, got those lashes on. We are set. We are feeling ourselves. Yup. Go and go. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the glitter side and I'm going to be using my NYX glitter primer and just this flat brush. And I'm going to be using the three shades of NYX glitter and I'll put them in the description because I can't really remember them right this second. But yeah, so they're in the description and they're just red, white, and blue. And I'm going to be putting the NYX glitter primer on my brush and putting that on my lid and I kind of like to do it I don't cover the whole lid with the primer because it'll dry and then it's like a waste of primer so I just put it on the section that I'm gonna do first which is the red because red white and blue that's the flag anyway so this red is kind of coppery but it's the only kind of red they had and I, I kind of like it though because it's like subtle and it's kind of like Rustic? I don't know. I really like it. Okay, so that brush is nasty. So just get a tissue and wipe it off. And the primer comes off really easily. So that's pretty cool. So now we're going to go ahead and put on the next section of primer. And this is going to be the white section. Um, and the white actually is kind of greenish. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, yeah, not sure how I feel about that. But anyway, so I'm just kind of packing it on, hoping that it'll turn out more white than green, but that's okay. So now we're just going to go ahead with the last section, which is going to be the blue section. And I'm just priming it. You already know. And that blue, oh my goodness, I was shook. That blue is so nice. I might just do a look with the blue one day because that is iconic. Anyway, so I'm kind of like taking it out towards the tape to make like a little bit of a wing, but... At the end, it kind of turned out to look like a quote bubble, you know, the ones like in cartoons. I don't know. So <laughs> that was a bit of a fail, but it's okay. And I just was not really sure how I like this look. Like I was not feeling it. It looks like a French flag. Nothing's wrong with France, but this is, you know, 4th of July, America, and I was just not feeling it. But anyway, so now I'm just gonna put on my lashes on this side because I don't actually know why, but you already know. I'm just gonna put it on real quick. Okay, so now I forgot to take off my tape, so let me do that real quick. And you see what I'm talking about, how it kind of looks like a quote bubble? I don't know. Anyway, so this is the look, and I really don't like this side, but this side, oh dang, yup. Get it from a yup. But yeah, this side turned out so good, and this side, I, it's not bad. Okay guys, so this is the final look. 
I'm not sure how I feel about this side, but this side, oh, I am shook. This side is the way to go. But if you want to, you know, be unique, go out there and do the glitter. Kind of looks like the French flag, but it's fine, you know. Um, but I know for sure tomorrow y'all will see me with this look because dang. But anyway, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, you already know what to do. And yeah, I hope this video has helped anyone trying to make a creative 4th of July look. And thanks for watching. Peace.